homesteading friends. Um, today I'm going to be doing an update on our chicken coop. We have added a um, new feeder, a trough style feeder, and then also we added some waterers with the little nipples at the bottom, and I'll show you those. Those are just five gallon buckets. And um, there's a couple things that we have to repair on the coop, so I will show you that as well. I gotta show you the negative with the positive. We had to make a couple modifications because the fence was so low. I, I don't wanna trim my chicken's wings. I just, I, there's something just feels wrong about that to me, so I, we don't cut their wings. Um, so they are able to jump pretty high. Um, right now, I think the highest we've seen them jump was six feet. So we are making modifications now to our fence. I mean, it's not that big of a deal right now because, you know, they get out and worst case scenario, they run the yard and eat our weeds. Yeah, there are little landscapers. But what we did outside was, so we actually installed, it's really dirty right now, I gotta clean it out, but this is a trough waterer. It's, it's not their primary source of water, so we just, on really hot days, we'll add water in there and um, they just have extra water access out in their run. Right now it's actually pretty cool outside, it's sweater weather, so we're not worried about filling that up as of yet. We did change the door to our run, it used to just be a sliding up and down door. We actually put a handle on it and then this latches it closed and it just opens, it's on hinges now. We put chicken wire above the door to the height of the chicken coop. And the height of the chicken coop is good for my husband and I, so that's where we're going to do the top to their run. Is it about six foot? Um, I still have to go around these edges here on the fence. So now it's just a matter of extending this fence line here and connecting it to that one there. That way it's all six foot tall. And then once it gets up to the height of the coop, we'll put a topper on it so that they can't get out. We did add a little jungle gym for our chickens. Um, it's really funny, if my husband and I are out here shooting bows, the chickens will roost up here up top and it's almost like you have fans watching you. The coop, as you can see, things that we need to fix. The It rained quite a bit here, which is a rare occasion, but here on the side, that's starting to come up, so we have to um, either nail that back down or put siding around the entire coop. We used some old cabinet doors from an armoire that we had. Um, not a good idea. I didn't realize that it is the real thin particle board, and when you use particle board, it tends to bend when it gets wet. This portion here is actually coming out, so we're gonna have to fix that. I modified the wiring a little bit to their lighting system just to clean it up so I just you know stapled the wires to the edges of the coop. These are their waterers that we did. They're just five gallon buckets. We drilled a hole in the top so that we can just feed the hose through there um, to add water to it but just a five gallon bucket and it's hanging from the ceiling um, and it's about I'd say about two feet off the ground. And underneath, you can see the nipples that we had got. And all they do is they just peck these little nipples and water drips out, and that's how they get their water. And then we have another one over there, again, with the nipples underneath. Um, there are a total of eight nipples. We added a trough feeder. Um, it's kind of messy. They do get a little bit of the bedding in it, but that's just a matter of coming in here daily, like we do, and cleaning it out. Um, it's just a rain gutter, and basically these parts here are the part that would attach to your house, so it's actually screwed to the wood on this side. And the trough has the end caps on them, and the rain gutters just hold their food. We put it underneath their um, nesting boxes because there's a big lip, and it keeps them from jumping up on here and pooping in it. I fill this with food once every three days. So this will, trough will last them three days worth of food. So that is it. If you see anything that we should add, let me know. Or anything that you know you feel we should fix, let me know. I value your guys' opinions and you know, this is our first time raising chickens and I think we're doing pretty good so far, but we are up to suggestions. So leave a comment below. Please like this video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe.
Bye.